hey guys, I got all these going, all three of them, got them all running. And um, I even made some videos um, shooting them and everything. Um, but I deleted them. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't like them. Um, what happened? Uh, put a new, um, a new Milsig O-ring in this one and blew it out already and put it back in. Um, this one, this one um, blew out also the same, like in the same hour, they both blew out. <laughs> this one blew out and then I picked this one and it blew out. And uh, this one, it's, I, I, took the, I took it out and it's the Milsig and it, uh, it went through a lot of testing last year and it it the o it's an o-ring but it's now shaped like a d-ring <laughs> i'll find it and show you here i think it's in here Looks like it's retained some of its shape a little, actually. Maybe it can be reused. What do you think? When I pulled it out yesterday, it was like very D-shaped. You can see where it's actually here. In the light, you can see it better. So I put the uh, the factory replacement. It was the replacement O-ring that, that came with the thing. It, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not um, squared round like that. It's more, it's round, round, rat, uh, rat tail like round. I don't know how you say that. Um, so yeah, I put that bad boy in there and it was really easy to put in. It didn't have to take the back cap off. Um, so what else? Oh, this is new. That's new. This is, this takes eight rounds and a 16, 16 gram CO2. There's a 12. There's a 16. Unfortunately, um, I took a chance on on uh, using threaded. Uh, I took a chance on buying threaded ones uh, because I, I took a chance on seeing if it would work, and it didn't work. Um, I screwed it down and ended up just wasting the gas because the threading didn't let it seat properly. So I'll get some proper ones. Um, I got these because they came in a five pack and I just, you know, whatever. Um, what else, what else, what else? I fixed my broken BB gun, back to air guns. Um, I thought I broke this because I modified it by putting a, a hammer spring shim in there. But um, I figured since it was broken, I took it apart just to, I don't know, I took it apart. And um, I didn't find anything wrong with it. What I found was the seals inside the valve. It's a poppet valve. My first time taking one of those apart. So I took it apart, and um, it's the same material that it's that good green material, you know. Never mind, I'm not going to show you. You know, the CO2 material that's green and it's good and rigid. So that's the material that's inside the poppet valve in here. I didn't see anything wrong with it other than it was dry. So I put I put some silicone in there and I put a softer spring in there, try to get more power. And I think it got a little more power. Um, it was always a little inconsistent before. So I, I think it it's working again. And I think I got it a little bit more powerful. Um, it was already kind of powerful. Uh, what else? I got... I got one of these in orange. I've been, I was practicing with this a lot. It's uh, it is a weak stream. If you if you just put it down like a spray, you know, it's just gonna all just dump out. But if you just shoot it like it's a real gun, you'll get a lot more little spurts. Um, so I got this. I got an orange one just so I would have that option. You know, maybe I'll avoid getting a brandishing charge if something ever has to go down. Um, so I got this one. They they come in a kit. You get an inert one, and I already I already used it up. But I was practicing. I was practicing a quick draw, and I actually was getting pretty good at it. It's actually it's cool. I like it. Um, and it take it takes these little things. And um, and uh, there's a cool looking one that that. that clamps underneath an HDR 50 that you plop one of these into and it just looks really really cool 
and it probably would work really well too actually now that i've practiced with it and uh there's a the bigger one by so this is saber brand the, the bigger one is uh mace brand and uh so th this is like um about a half ounce uh, but the Mace brand is almost a full ounce. It's a little bit bigger um, launcher. And it comes in a couple different forms. There's an orange one and a black one. I'm going to get the black one because it's got a handle. It's white and it says Mace. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like, this one kind of looks like. But uh, the Mace brand, it's it's really big and canister looking. And so what else, what else can I ramble about? So I'm sorry I deleted those videos. I want to make some... Good footage. I want to get these 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 guys dialed in really well. Um, let me get a compensator for that. Um, I think with this with the 16 gram um, with the 16 gram magazine, I think I need a longer barrel to really get all the gas worth out of that. And probably this guy will probably be set up with a long barrel and with that guy right there. Um, Little Pepper, um, I decided that that, uh, that FSC barrel is not the best barrel in the world. And so I ordered one from DK Spencer, um, the power barrel, same length, because I do want to keep a little compact version of that. Compact version, a big, long bungalow version and uh kind of a medium regular um truck gun version um so there it is i got that running i got this thing and i got an orange one of these what else yeah that's about it oh i fixed my bb gun well, um, come here, come here, Grim. So, all right, um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I'll do some more shooting, sorry. I know, more talking, less shooting. Okay, thanks.